Question number three. Complete the table below by inserting the most appropriate web technology concepts on the following list. Alright, complete the table below by inserting the most appropriate web technology concepts. Connects web pages to other web pages. Hyperlink stores, processes, and delivers web pages to client devices. Or we use hyperlink. Do they say um, insert any most appropriate items? So we use hyperlink already. Stores, processes, and delivers web pages to client devices on request as a web server. Finally, a question on testing your IT knowledge. I must say, it's nice to know that they, that they do exist. Facilitates communication with client devices for the delivery of web pages. Facilitates communication with client devices, hypertext transfer protocol, HTTP. I really don't have time to write in all that. So for application that allows client devices to access resources and websites from data browser, do they have a browser? Yeah, web browser. I can imagine that this part here was kick. This part here was kick. Like, you yeah, chew this up, spit this out. Text-based application used to create web pages for display on internet is HTML. Yeah. HTML. Hypertext markup language. Yeah, that's good there. Yeah. I don't think it do I have anything with file transfer protocol and URL. No, nothing else there is, yeah, that was basically those answers there. Yeah. Alright, yeah. This part was kick. You get some diabetes here. Yeah. Alright, um... Let's go again. Consider the following database with two database tables named students and sports. Alright, students and sports. Alright, the database table students and sports can be joined in a one-to-many relationship to ensure that data in the two tables remain as accurate as possible. State the feature used to establish and maintain the accuracy of data between two tables. This is um, referential integrity. Yeah, 90% of students have no idea what referential integrity is. Yeah, you get mash up there. You totally get mash up there. <laughs> promise you, I promise you, you get mash up there. <laughs> like, only the, only, the, only the elite know what that referential integrity exists. That's something that you have learned once when you're creating a relationship in the database. Once. And you don't ever see that again. This was. That one was pain. That one was pain. Yeah, referential integrity. That maintains the accuracy of the data between the two tables. That just means when you create a relationship between two tables, you can't put one thing in one table and then not match in the other table because you'll have a mismatch. You'll have an imbalance. So yeah, I'll make sure that that is done. Yeah. Alright, now state why it is necessary to maintain the accuracy of data between the two database tables. Um, so the so that the data no so that queries would return the correct results all the time This POM6 level kind of POM6 level kind of questions here. You don't really spend time going this deep with POM5 students. You don't really spend it. The good thing is it's only two marks. So you lose that two marks and take one for the team never. Take that one for the team. I pulled aside and I I literally a tear came to my eye. It did. I yeah. Uh, yeah, you would I get the idea would have come to you for that too. Yeah. I can't, I can't see much people getting this correct and much people getting that correct. I can't see. Um Yeah. Yeah, a primary key is not the answer there. A primary key is just to make sure that the, the records are unique. 
but to establish to maintain the accuracy. When they say between the two tables, clearly it had to have a relationship. When you have that relationship, you have to enforce referential integrity. Yeah. All right, outline how the one to many relationship is formed between the two databases. All right, that says, you could, I think you can get through this one. You basically have to show that the sport number here relates to the sport number here. So this will be one sport has many students. So the relationship between the sport number is made where one sport has many students. That's what you want to say. So the relationship is made. We reached question four yet. I told question four was it was was the killer question. But I find they're doing the most in this paper, boy. They're doing the most. We relationship is made between um sport number and the sports table. And sport number in the um, students table. So chances are it's late in the night and you're watching this past paper video hoping I get the answers to the past paper that you've been looking for for all this time and you're happy that it actually exists on YouTube. Well, don't leave it up to the YouTube algorithm to show you the rest of um, answers. I have an app that's called Learn It by Make It Simple TT and it has all the past paper answers in chronological order for the past 10 years, maybe 12, depending on the time that you're watching this video. It might have a lot more. The app is called Learn It. Go find it, download it, link will be in the description. And if you want to see the PDF with the actual couple foot handwriting that I have with the answers, so you could actually scroll through the PDF and look at the answers as it was written. Instead of watching the video, hey, you could do that too. Download the app now. All right, back to the answers. And let me tell you in advance, when our paper rough like this, tell yourself the curve going and shift back a little bit. So even if you do think you did as well as you could, it has a strong possibility that you did better than a lot of people. So you, may, you might just still get one. You might just still get one. So just in case you're starting to feel a little discouraged and think I'll be like, oh my goodness, I lose so much marks. The real test will be, did you lose less marks than the other people did? That will, that will push you up in the higher end of, of getting the one. So just, just putting that out there. Right, just letting you all know. Don't don't get too discouraged because, in my honest opinion, this paper is pain right now. All right, write a query by completing the following query design view window to extract. Again, here's the problem: query design view. You yes, only see this in access. What if the children using next database program, the open office one, open office base? Because the reason they allow you to reuse multiple database programs is because not everybody could afford Microsoft Office or not everybody have it in their school. So you basically showing our child this and they probably never see it before. And that, that's not fair. That is not fair. But most people would use access, honestly. But I just say. So we want to find the fields ID, first name, last name, phone. So we took in ID, first name, last name, phone, from the student's table. The field sport name from sports, sport name from sports table for all married students who play football. So for married, you have to put yes, I guess. And the sport name should be football. They didn't ask you to sort it in any way. Did they ask you to sort anything? No. Yeah, that, yeah that's all you have to do there. Yeah. Um, yeah, only don't forget to click like on the video. I yeah? find only watching on only and clicking like. It's me sacrificing my my 
my my Tuesday night here for all you boy. All you gonna click a little like boy, a little thumbs up, you know, just a little thumbs up so other people can see it. I I find that's all I needed. That's all I needed for him to do that, and it it became personal with me. A whole two hundred and sixty-three people by him. All right, next. State the record IDs of the follow. State the records will be extracted when the query is executed. All right. So we want to find all the married people that like football. Ooh, I'm not supposed to put M. I'm not supposed to put F. Married people in the table is um, yes or no, right? Yeah, good. All right, so married people that play football. What's the code for football? 020. All right, so 020, married, no. 020, married, yes. All right, so this one for sure. 020, married, yes. All right, so we should get um Smith Jones and Brian Joseph. Or oh, they only want the record IDs. Oh, the record ID is 14 and seven don't check again zero two zero married no zero two zero married zero two yeah seven and fourteen seven and fourteen all right cool there are four steps in implementing our program there's three of these steps what Oh, 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 this, this is source code, compile, object code, then you link, and then you have the executable. I hope that is what you're looking for. You type up the source code, you click compile, you get the object code, after you get the object code, you link and then you execute, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, describe what is involved by any two of the steps listed in E part 1. Okay. Typing the source code. Requires... You to type the algorithm in a no in a programming language like Pascal or C or Python. Something like that. Um Compiling is translating the source code to object code that the computer could understand. All right, I'll just go through the others. Um, linking is to get all the resources. Basically get resources. And execute is run the program. Yeah, all right, so those will be the other two that I could put in if you want to. Um, debugging is not part of it. I won't say that debugging is part of it. No. Can't say that debugging is part of it. It have more? Is it still number three? We. Yeah. 
Right, so please don't mix up the steps in implementing our program for the program development life cycle. This is not the program development life cycle like they're talking about, which is plan, analyze, um, implement, review, document, and thing. That is not what they're asking. They're clearly asking what are the steps in implementing a program. They want to know from source code or leave it down to executable. Um, if you put the um, life cycle, that's that's wrong. That's wrong. I know exactly what they're asking for there. All right, cool. I completely following pseudo code by writing a nested if then else statement to produce the following: If team A scores more goals than team B, the algorithm should output team A as the winner. If team B scores more goals than team A, then the algorithm should output team B as the winner. Otherwise, the program should output. Oh, they gave you the information, right? And okay. All right, so we just have to do the if part. So if if A scores more goals than team B, if team A no, if goals A, sorry, if goals underscore A is greater than goals underscore B. Then output team A is the winner. Else, if right, because they wanted to do a nested if. So else, if you check the next condition now. Goals B greater than goals E then output team B is the winner else output Game drawn. Yeah. Um, the only thing I could do here is I could put this a little to the right to line it up with the oh. right. So you have the nested if here, so you can clearly see that this is the um this is the end of the first if here, end if. And is the end of the next affair. So this if inside here is nested inside this bigger if here. All right, so that's a nested if. How much marks again for this? Five marks? I real work for five marks, boy. If you input the brackets, it's pseudo code, don't worry, they ain't gonna kill you. Like, they ain't gonna really hurt you too much. Is all right. If it's pseudo code and you put team A, team B in, in um, once you put it in quotes, that means you print it out to the screen. It's all right. Um, Yeah, yeah, they ain't really beat up too much if you if team is a variable and you put it inside the quotes, that's alright. That's cool. No, no fight out, no fight down there. If you wanted to, if you want to say the, the actual name for team A, then do put it in quotes and just put the quotes for the words is. If you want, if you wanna be like that, sure. So team A is the winner and this one here will be team B. Team underscore B, colon. I mean, quotation marks, and you put a comma in between. Yeah, but for five marks, they ain't beating you up, yeah. They ain't beating you up there. All right, that's the end of question number three. Oof, finally. Now we reach the question where, where everybody say that they died 